that is what needs to be stamped out, and that's why we've been uh, focusing on non-violent elections for some days now, if not weeks, uh, not just on this program, but the entire station, also trying to focus on that as much as we can. We're joined now by Tunde Bankantini, who is a member of the All Progressives Congress. He's also of the uh, uh, Lagos governorship team, that's the uh, Ambodis team. Thank you for coming on this Thank morning. you very much. Good morning. But that, that report there, it's uh, what everybody wants to avoid. That's why that peace pact was entered into parties. We consistently tell politicians as much as they can, give us that, or your supporters, that non-violence pledge. But that report which we've seen, how do you think we could take that message further, saying no to violence? I mean, anyway, with due respect, you guys have played a very good role. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying very objective here. Yeah. I myself was attacked 12 days ago, and I think I did you a personal message on that. In Alima Show here in Lagos, we were on a peaceful rally, demonstration door to door. We came across the PDP. I mean, it was terrible. It was terrible. It was in the news the following day, two days after, people almost got killed. That is the truth. On Saturday night, on Adeni Jones, Yai's office, gunmen came there, seven o'clock in the evening, and sprayed the whole place with bullets. I mean, what are we talking about here? So the point is that this act of desperation among people who seek the power of the people is just out of order. I will not support violence. We will not support violence. And we try as much as possible to educate our supporters, our sympathizers. You know something, this is in the bag. We won't be violent about it. It's in the bag already. We are not going to kill our people that we want to rule. It's not going to happen. But do you tell your supporters? Of course, all the time. Calm in the face we are of very provocation. Calm. That's the toughest part. That is in it. the face of provocation. If somebody could drive to your office and attack you, and the, 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 their counter claim was that they were being attacked, how is that possible? Right on Adeni Jones. Same thing on Yanapaja Road. Were, uh, were these cases incidented with the police? Of course, it was. I'm telling you. We have people in the hospital now in, in Alimosho. We have people in uh, Ikeja. And how, this is totally... This, what should we be doing? How do we stop it? And I believe the, the, the act of desperation should stop. Some people are very emotional about this thing. The people who are running for offices realize this one thing is clear. We have 20 candidates for Lagos State Governorship. One person will emerge. No amount of violence will change that. Nigerians won't be intimidated. That is the truth. This election would hold from February 14. Nothing will change it. We are ready. Anek is ready. We are ready to go. But uh, it doesn't seem as if uh, the pol political parties ha are abiding by the simple rule of not uh, having same. Uh, I mean, having rallies same day. Uh, Ali Mosho, you painted. You met uh, another party on that day. If you had taken time to know who would be on which part of town, I don't think that that would have ha occurred. You, you, you know what? Okay, let me give you a very clear picture. We didn't have a rally. We are doing door-to-door -door campaign. Do you understand? We were doing door-to-door -door campaign in a procession. That, I'm telling you that's what happened. It's on tape. As we send the tape to channels, it was totally, we were doing door-to-door -door campaign, and they were coming. Also, uh, I'm sure also having door-to-door -door campaign. No, no, they were not. They were not. They were. They, I mean, I, I, one of their candidates there, right? The, for the ass of reps for PDP in Alimosho. That was the team that attacked us. The same team attacked Yagi's office. He, now, now he's going for Senate now. Mm. The, the question would be, this door-to-door -door campaigns, are they arbitrary? Do you just wake up and say, today we're going, we're doing door-to-door -door campaign, uh, you know, let us, let us, do you seek protection, so to speak? Are the authorities that should be aware, are what, aware of this? What authorities are we talking about? But, but, but the police, is the police aware, that's one, 
uh, are the traffic officials aware that's another? Because in the last couple of days, it's been hellish for the people uh, whom you want to, whose votes you're seeking in terms of what the traffic situation has been like because of this procession or this door-to-door -door campaign, well, well, as it were. Well, 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 let me probably explain one or two things to you. The issue of protection, right? And the issue, did you say arbitrary? You, you use the word arbitrary. What does that? Uh, what, what I'm is asking if it's something that is planned, you know, where, you know, on this day, for instance, now, you do know that in terms of rallies, you already have your timetable, as it were, yeah. and everybody knows this is this person's day of rally, this is this person's day of rally. Don't do it on the same day, or let's do it as far away from each other as possible mm -hmm. to avoid any fracas. Yeah. But this new door-to-door -door campaign, is it something that is it's also planned new. in it's that not, manner? It's not new. You know that it's not the, new. I'm not saying it's, okay. it's new. new. I'm simply it's saying, new. Okay. is it something that is planned? Of course The same planned. way the rallies are planned in such a way that it doesn't clash on, on one hand. Two, you can get protection from the authorities that you need to get protection from. And then three, it's only such a way that it's not disruptive of the economic activities or the businesses of other negotiations who are not involved in the procession as it were. Well, I mean, let me take you one by one. One, we don't need, a, I mean, you said protection, right? We are not going out on a, on a mission that we need to seek a protection. We are going door to door in the neighborhood where we are familiar with to tell people vote for us. We are not causing any unnecessary uh, traffic chaos from the road. I mean, let, let me make that clear to you. There's nothing like that. It has been the norm of politics anywhere you go in the world for a door to door campaign. It is nothing new, it is nothing special. It is basic about politics. That is what we call grassroots politics. And related to the people. Well, if you say that you, you don't need protection, no, yes. there's any need to complain if you're attacked. Then you, you must be very funny then. So because I, because I don't have the policeman behind my back, you should attack me? Is that what you're telling me? Well, about all I of this. I need to go with the police where, wherever I go to to, well, wait, to wait, tell wait. you I'm safe in my own country? Well, the thing is, uh, about these claims, which, of course, will need to be verified, yes. and then they also give their version of the story. Yes. But at, we indeed advise Mr. Shagun Seriki, who is the coordinator of the PDP presidential campaign organization in Ogun State, but he's not able to make the program today. Okay. But we will also reach out to all the members, uh, even in Lagos as well, to see uh, what their version of this account is. But the thing is this, uh, in spite of all that is going on, you say you still tell your members... All the time. Peace. All the time. But talk about the preparations now for the elections. Uh, let's start with that of INEC, the permanent photo cards. It was this morning in one of the headlines, uh, the governor was quoted to have said he will not collect his permanent photo cards until, the, was it all the Goshens have collected theirs? Have, what's your impression about INEC's distribution of the permanent photo cards? I mean, from the... We believe right now, the INEC chairman said they are 80% there. And before the last pronouncement he made, probably last night or two days ago, he said, if need be, collection will extend till the 13th of February. It will be the last day, but if need be, it could be extended to the 13th of February. INEC, let's try and put the scenario here. It's an independent organization now, so to say, quote-unquote. And the guy there said they are ready to go ahead. And you can imagine the, the kind of logistics that I go into preparing for this election. Okay. Uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. We do have Mr. Tunji Shala, who is the chairman of the People's Democratic Party in Lagos. He joins us via phone today. Okay. Morning, and thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, could you tell us this non-violence message, doctrine, if you will, uh, that is being yeah, dished out on a regular basis. Well, your members have been accused of uh, perhaps stoking the fire. What's going on? Well, thank you very much, Chamberlain and the team. Well, uh, if you know Lagos very well, Lagos PDP has never been involved in any violence. Rather, we should we will report stealing or abusing to the police or even to your station or any other television station and media houses. 
Uh, if you have any example where PDP leaders have gotten involved in any form of and race is an who answer in whichever way the two case. But so far, so good. We are law abiding. We don't believe in violence. And I personally, as the leader of the party in Lagos, I've ensured that my people are law abiding and will never get involved in any violence. I wouldn't know what takes place in other states. And in Lagos, for example, the APC as a party is fond of provocating the other party. Uh, like I reported to your station one day, they hung rooms on the heads of posters where the, the, the pictures the Nagbaji and Mr. President were placed. This is unfair, this is uh, fetish, and this is provocative. And we didn't go into any violence. All we did was to report to the police and the next three uh, media houses so that they could cover the, the, the story. Uh, that's how, but I want to, we always preach, even at our at a rally that people should not get involved in violence because we know where we are going and we are going to that place uh, with all sense of discipline and sense of uh, 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 civility. That's what we believe in. Well, uh, interesting. I mean, politicians, they all say this. I mean, the, uh, Mr. Bancotton says it's in the pocket. You say it's in the pocket. And everybody is just waiting to see uh, the results at the end of the day. But the cases that uh, Mr. Van Kuntini mentioned, have you ever at any point in time heard about it or you're hearing it for the first time today, what he's talking about? 